Welcome back, everyone. We continue to remain in that early warning weather alert mode. We are going to remain that way through tomorrow morning. We are still seeing that snow coming down. Let's take a look at what's happening on early warning pinpoint Doppler as we uh, take a look at what's happening out there. Again, we are seeing where that rain and snow is. Uh, it's all been snow. I first want to start off, though, with some of the snowfall amounts because I know a lot of you are curious, like how much has fallen so far? Winstead, five and a half inches. Avon five inches, Barkersville four inches or so, Tolland three and a half, Staffordville you're looking at three inches, Danielson off to the east about two inches and again there's the forecast still could pick up an additional inch or so in some spots three to five inches or locally higher as predicted right along the 85 quarter points northward two to four inches a little bit farther south you get towards the shoreline you're in that one to three inch zone okay now here's a look at early warning pinpoint doppler still tracking a few heavy snow bands they're moving off to the east and you can get a quick half an inch out of these uh, snow bands. Let's show you again where those areas of heavier snow taking place Hamden Oxford Durham this is all sliding kind of eastward with time. Not much up towards uh, New Britain, fairly light. As you get farther to the north and east, we've seen some of those pockets of heavier snowfall north of the Brooklyn area near Tolland. And then we're seeing right now the heaviest snow occurring north of Windsor in the Windsor Locks area, Enfield, northern Hartford County. That's where the heaviest snow is setting up. And again, we're seeing everything kind of sliding off to the east with time, and that visibility is really dropping in those areas. As we take a look at future cast when is this snow going to finally come on down well it's still ongoing most places you know we'll have some patchy breaks but still scattered snow showers through two o'clock in the morning temperatures cold enough that this is uh, you know sticking on those untreated surfaces certainly four o'clock in the morning still an indication that this kind of winds on down but lingering impacts still possible. You still have cloudy skies initially, 7 o'clock, still cloudy in the 20s, and then we'll see by the afternoon and certainly late morning hours, the sunshine makes an appearance and those temperatures start to rebound back into the mid-30s. So again, slick spots still a possibility through 7 a.m. All the counties in purple under that winter weather advisory. If you want to find out more specifics for your location, you can do so, uh, do so through the early warning weather app. It is free. But here is the uh, snowiest scene right now. This is up at the airport Windsor locks again visibility extremely low with that heavy snow 26 degrees right now north wind at uh, nine miles per hour check out the time lapse from center central village okay so we start off this morning clouds then here comes the snow look at the parking lot and the roadways uh, yeah certainly have been snow covered at times so again we've had the snow there we've had some snowy scenes how about from uh, emily giddings this is her playing in uh, the mansfield center that is her snowman there as we uh, take a look at another photo what we're seeing in tolland by joey that snowy scene right out the uh, front door three-day forecast well we have some slick spots in the morning still that alert through 7 a.m then we're going to be really cold Tuesday morning teens and that snowpack is not going to help by any means and chilly but still dry Wednesday and they're going to be tracking another system late Thursday into Friday. The track will really depend on what kind of precipitation we see. For the most part you can see it's leaning green so rain but there still could be some snow a part of the mix. We'll have to watch that one. Kiddos out at the bus stop if they're not delayed will be a little chilly but again things will be you know dry we won't have any precipitation still falling so the next round of precipitation is going to be that friday storm system so before then we have dry and just cold conditions out there and again as we head into the weekend it's looking at chilly for this time of year shoreline highs upper 30s low 40s brian